82. Back, yeah, back in his playing days, Tally led the Heartland Conference in points, assists, and steals. That is the Mount Rushmore right there of stats. Officials tonight, Danny Chance, Jeffrey Johnson, and Clyde Muller. Main Green, home white. Green, North Texas, across the front. Green numbers, Danny Chance ready to send it up. Abu Usman jumping with Mike Madison, and Abu knocks it out of bounds. And so the Eagles will inbound. In their uh, offensive zone, shooting at the goal to our left here in the first half. And he inbound it to Carlin Kenner, the 6'2 sophomore transfer from Southern Nazarene out of South Grand Prairie. Now Anthony Johnson, their top scorer, pulls up, fires and misses from the top of the key. And Reuben Jones has the season's first rebound. And the sophomore from Houston Yates brings it across the timeline. Sets up Thomas Bell, his first touch. Now to McBride, up top the other way, Usman near wing Jones. Jones again, McBride, far corner, J.J. Murray's first touch. Down the baseline, Abu Usman spins on his defender. Madison down the baseline, he goes to power in the first two. Anthony Wright's uh, work in the weight room, trimming 20 pounds off him, really shows. Down to the baseline, Drew Tennille ends up trapped in the corner. Gets help on the wing by D.J. Walter. Far wing now, Anthony Johnson. To the corner, and Nike Madison hits from about 12 feet out to tie it to two. It's a big post. Led the, uh, the Lone Star in swats a year ago, so he can block shots, and there he showed extension range. Nike spells it N-Y-K. Madison from Midlothian. And a minute 10 gone, tied at two. Jones misses, jumper in the lane. Rebound put back up and in by J.J. Murray, counted and won. J.J. Murray been around a long time from the days when he walked on to being a scholarship player in his sixth year. And uh, boy, nobody that you want to root for more than J.J. Murray, president of the American Society of Engineering Management. That tells you what he's all about. I think unofficially he's working now on his third degree, second masters, I believe, and the free throw is good to complete his three-point play. Mechanical engineering. A little pressure. Full court pressure and the inbounds pass. Bell and Jones, backcourt defenders, bringing it over the timeline is Tenniel. And now DJ Walter with a hand back for Tenniel. Tenniel guarded by McBride, 15 on the shot clock. Eagles spread out the offense. Handled by one man, Drew Tenniel. Finally a bounce left of the circle to Madison with five on the shot clock, drives and charges. And a left-hand banker wiped off. Yep, and the man who changed numbers this year to number four, Thomas Bell, one thing that has not changed, he's very adept at taking the charge. And that's become something the last couple years we've tracked. There's charge number one of the year, Dave. Foul number two of the night. 5-2 Mean Green, and uh, O.C. will slap on some full court pressure as uh, McBride and Jones handle it in the backcourt. No problem over the timeline. Eagles fall back into the 2-3 zone. They played right at two minutes, and it's 5-2 North Texas. Right wing three on the way by McBride, and it's in it out, and rebounded by Thomas Bell, and followed back up and in. Almost climbed off there, but a very torrid rebound using both hands, then up strong and got the kind roll. Seven to two, two minutes and 10 seconds in. Oklahoma City with Anthony Johnson on a drive and draws a foul by uh, Usman this time. Looked like it might have been the second offensive foul on OC. This time they get the call, the first mean green foul. Boo just didn't quite get those big feet set. And the first subs of the season, Amir Wright, 6'8", 208, grad transfer from the University of Washington out of Albany, New York. And Tyler Perry, 5'11", 182, junior from Fort Coffey, Oklahoma, from the National Junior College National Champions. Coffeyville Junior College, he was tournament MVP. And third in the nation total points last year. Tyler Perry, 528 points. Anthony Johnson steps to the line and connects. Seven to five after the three-point play. And Tyler Perry manning the point, swings it right to Murray, now left to McBride, back to Perry, bounce mid lane, Bell to the right corner, Murray down the baseline to right, 
Now Bell, Murray, 10 on the shot clock. Back high to Bell. Left side three, McBride, no good, a little bit long. And Anthony Johnson, the rebound. Long pass to the front court. Where DJ Walter backs out. Down to the baseline, spinning hook, no good. Short by Madison to the deck. A loose ball and a held ball in the battle for the rebound between Wright for the Mean Green and <laughs> Tennille for the Eagles. Oklahoma Christian wanted to run on that possession, but North Texas got back, bottled things up, and then the scrappiness for the loose ball gets them the ball back. And Reuben Jones is also back. Remember, he missed all of postseason last year, Dave, so itching to play ever since that run in the NCAAs and the run at Frisco. Unfortunately, Reuben had to watch that. Yeah, lower body injury, the regular season finale. So J.J. Murray out, Jones back in. Perry cut off on the right baseline. Kicks it back out to McBride. Jones at the point. Off a right high post pick. Deals to Bell into the lane. Kicks right wing Perry up top. Jones, nine on the shot clock. Back to Perry, right corner. McBride three on the way and no good. And rebounded underneath by Walter for OC. And it remains 7-5 being green. McBride left the not triggering the tray with authority here yet. Chance for the Eagles to tie or lead. Three and a half minutes gone. Anthony Johnson left quarter court. Number one guarded by number one, McBride for the Eagles. It's D.J. Walter at the point, driving on Jones. Off balance floater rattles in, and we're tied at seven. That went from being a dangerous pass that Walter was able to collect to being a drive and a score for Oklahoma Christian. Seven, seven, four minutes gone. Right of the circle, Jones. Kicks to Bell near wing. Bell to the corner. And Tyler Perry. Return feed Bell backing in. Elbow the lane. Almost has it stripped by Anthony Johnson. Does take it away. Johnson the steal. Fast break. Filling the left flank is Drew. Tennille drives and scores. And the Eagles have their first lead at 9-7. No timeouts right now by Grant McCaslin. But scrappy defense and Johnson on the other end making things happen. Thomas Bell, side cleared right, backs in, kicks it to the point to McBride. Now Perry, far quarter court. Off of Bell, pick and fade, feeds Thomas, launches, hits a three. Boy, you talk about a rainbow tray. He set that one up near the rafters where those new banners are hanging, but bottoms up for T. Bell. Regains the lead, 10 to nine. Five minutes gone in the season opener. Walter started in, deals near side high to Tennille. Wraparound pass is going to be off Madison and out of bounds. An OC turnover to timeout with 14.58 remaining in the first half. The Green lead at 10 to 9, which is Green Green basketball from Learfield. Comfortable so far, that's not working. Active hands and ball pressure are expected, and then attack to score. 
and force Oklahoma Christian to guard. They've done that so far, so a good start by the visitors here tonight. And they keep backward pressure on us. The main green work it up out of the timeout. Tyler Perry and Jones, no problem. Getting it front court. Now to attack the zone. Pass mid lane, off of Bell, stolen away. Anthony Johnson, a one on four fast break. He misses on the drive. Rebound tip back to him, and he scores. Little bunny from about five feet out. OC takes the lead at 11 to 10. A real gift for Johnson to miss on the drive, but then stand on that right baseline and get another opportunity. And quarter court, 2 2 1 press. Press not causing many problems so far, but being green. Freely 11 to 10. Drive from the corner into the lane to J.J. Murray. His pass is kicked. And uh, the Mean Green will uh, reset 20-second shot clock. 14-11 to go in the first half. J.J. trying to pass that in the thick of things, like trying to throw a ball through a weed eater. But he's fortunate to get the kick ball, so a baseline entry for the Mean Green still their ball. And first appearance for Aaron Scott, a 6'7", 190 freshman from spring. Places Thomas Bell inbounds. Perry out between the circles to Jones. Feet up high. Goes to Aaron Scott. They work to the left side. Murray looks for an entry pass to Scott. Has it edge of the lane. Back up top to Jones. Fires and misses the three. And Walter pulls it down. Eagles still on top 11 to 10. Downtown shooting outside of Bell. Not looking real sharp for the Mean Green early. Monte Edmondson in off the bench. 5'10 sophomore from Oklahoma City. Transfer from Central Oklahoma, which is all of three miles from the OC campus, which is in Oklahoma City. Central and Edmond pass kicked out of bounds. And uh, off the bench will come Hunter Staten. 6'9 sophomore from Stillwater. In place of Mike Madison, they'll inbound with 12 to shoot. Staten's a big old boy. They don't list his weight, Dave, but he's 250 or more. I think maybe close to three <laughs> bills. Okay, yeah. uh, slow moving, but a big physical body, so that's a guy you don't want to allow deep touches to. Inbounds pass, tip back out. They throw it in again with nine, now with seven, and a pull up three on the way, and it will not rattle in for Johnson. The Mean Green rebounded, still down 11 to 10. Perry, a stop and go drive. Kicks back up top for Scott. Right wing Jones. Bounce edge of the paint. Uzman who's back in. The deal with Staten. Cross court feed goes to Murray. Drives all the way in. Scores with a left hand finish. JJ is the first player to really try a penetrating move and he gets the nice finish. So taking into the heart of the defense, the sixth year player, JJ Murray. Murray and Bell lead the main green five apiece. Johnson leads Oklahoma Christian with five. Go under 13 minutes, first half. Spin move near turnover by Justin Nimmer. Pass off the uh, rim and taken down by Murray. Outlet quickly into the hands of Reuben Jones. Chance to run, down low. Scott pull up jumper, air ball, way short and taken by Staten. Scott thought he'd have a little more room to finish out that move and got cut off, so an awkward release. Walter with a give to Edmondson and a turnover. On a drive from the near corner by Johnson. On the rocker step, he touched the sideline, turns it over with 12.33 in the first half. Nice looking skip pass, but Johnson lost track of where he was and ran out of real estate right in front of the Mean Green bench. Carlin Kenner back in for Johnson for Oklahoma Christian. The Mean Green Bell back on the floor. In fact, all the starters. Jones to Murray to McBride, far quarter court. Screen set by Usman into the far corner now. Bell back to McBride. Top of the circle to Bell. Near wing now to Murray, drives into a double team. 12 to shoot, back up high. Bell, far wing McBride, shot clock under 10. Dress starts in, back out. Kicks to Bell, jumps top of the paint, bounce underneath, easy lay in by Usman. What a drive, what a dish by Thomas Bell to Abu. And back to that patient offensive attack that North Texas has run the last two years with authority. Rain the shot clock, got a layup, leading 14 to 11. And another turnover, same vicinity where Johnson stepped out, Edmondson steps out with a rocker step. The timeout with 11.52 remaining. In the first half, North Texas leading Oklahoma Christian 14 to 11. This is Mean Green Basketball from Learfield.
heroes later. I think they're already concerned that this team wants to find someone to take the mantle of JB on Hamlet, and that's not going to happen right away, and it doesn't need to. Uh, he developed over time, and it's going to take a while to replace everything that JB on Hamlet did. Spread out the wealth is the message. Out of the timeout, Ruben Jones on the handle to Bell up high. Bell wants to drive on Walter. Backs him in, right elbow of the paint. Kicks it back out into the hands of Jones. Bell now fading to the point. Drives and dishes. Jones right corner, shot clock under 10. Whoops it back up tall. Bell, ball fake. Drives, dishes again to Jones. Three on the way, no good. Although the ball movement was excellent, and the rebound is stolen away by the Mean Green. Hamir right on a dive. Got it back into the Mean Green hands. Bell misses a three from the far wing, and it's rebounded by Nimmer for Oklahoma Christian. Now one of seven from the land of three. The only one that went down was from Bell earlier. So nine minutes gone, first half, still 14 to 11, Mean Green. Driving a one-hander by Nimmer, no good, and rebounded by Bell. Thomas will bring it front court. Waiting for him is a mismatch with 5'10", Edmondson. Get to the point, McBride, far quarter court to J.J. Murray. Back to Drez, bounce, they double-team Bell. Whips it far corner. Jones to Murray to Drez. McBride with the shot clock under 10. Into the lane, jump stop, kicks back out for Bell. Five to shoot. To McBride, to Murray, three on the way, and it's in and out from the far wing. Rebound battle, knocked out of bounds by Staten. Mean Green, a long possession, and it's going to get even longer. And that's what Thomas Bell does. He's a pass. Staten is a big, big target down there, but slow moving. And the quick hands of Bell knocked the ball off of Staten. Fresh 20 there. Good hustle. Murray out, replaced by Tyler Perry. 10-26 in the half. Perry will inbound underneath. They don't guard him. Five on four. Slips a bounce pass through traffic to Wright, who is being held underneath the bucket. And D.J. Walter whistled for his second. I expected something to happen close to the basket. North Texas relying on a lot of downtown shots that aren't falling. They need to try to penetrate or get something downtown or down low, which is what they tried to on that inbounds. Walter will sit after that second foul and Drew to deal in to replace him. And the inbounding underneath is Perry out to McBride. Drives, double clutch, his shot is blocked, and Staten comes away with it and then fouled as Wright tries to reach in and wrestle it away. Well, there was the drive that's been lacking, but Staten, again, a post that fills the space. And I tell you what, he's a hard man to break right through. Second main green foul. Perry hanging around to the backcourt. A little token pressure on Edmondson. Edmondson to Nimmer. Now Carlin Kenner just right at the point of the far quarter court. Edmondson bounce to Staten. Cross court feed goes near corner to Tennille down the baseline. Angle pass up for a three. No good by Nimmer. Rebounded by McBride. Kicks the outlet up the left sideline to Jones. Pass off the hands of Bell. Stolen away by Edmondson. Fast break, double clutch lay in too hard by Kenner and a foul on the rebound. Impressed with Oklahoma Christian's Eagles in terms of how they get back on defense. They are getting back. They're not uh, allowing lanes to get taken advantage of, and that's why they're hanging in this first half very, very well. Foul is called on Carlin Kenner, and that is his first, but their fourth. And he rained inbound with 9.45 to go in the half, up still 14 to 11. Six of 16 from the field, just one of eight threes. The Eagles five of 11, they've only tried one three and missed it. Rebounding even at eight. Perry off a wing pick by Usman. Goes to McBride, right corner Scott, down the baseline Usman, tries to give and go. Scott can't hang on to it. And uh, the steal taken by Nimmer to the front court. Three on the way and drained by Edmondson and Grant McCaslin wants time out. Well, that three ties it up at 14 points apiece, and McCaslin's going to get after Usman here because the matchup's better down low. Big Staten is out, and Usman passed up a chance to really attack the basket from the low right block. And uh, as the head coach looks up at Abu, I think that's what the lecture is all about. So the timeout with 9.20 remaining, first half, 14-14. And uh, after a, a fairly hot beginning, Green now have a, 
a hard time getting quick shots, much less good open looks. Well, Oklahoma Christian's done a good job clogging the lane, so North Texas has been relying on extended shots, but they're not hitting from downtown. The two guys that have the capability of driving, we've seen J.J. Murray exploit the inside. Like to see what Tyler Perry can do in that regard because they say he's got that relentless J.B. on Hamlet-esque ability to go in and take some punishment. Out of the timeout, Ming Green 0 for the last four. Scoring drought reaching three minutes. They've been stuck on 14. All tied up. And against the 2-3 zone look, Ming Green pinballed around the perimeter. Straight on three, and Perry nails it and unties it. Tyler Perry's first points in a Ming Green uniform, a three-pointer. He had 15 points in that exhibition at Arkansas, and they said that was a really good experience for him to take on the Razorbacks. Texas now two of nine from deep. Eagles one for three. Spin move number dumps it up high for Madison, who has returned and draws the foul. And on Tyler Perry is first. Third against the team. Well, you talked about Perry and the fact that he was the most valuable player of the National Junior College title game. At 16 points in the game, ended up a second team All American. Really a good find, especially for this time for the Mean Green. Madison steps up. The first free throw is no good off the back rim. Anthony Johnson returning and plays Justin Nimmer. Another one of the four from the Metroplex. Nimmer out of DeSoto and Life Waxahachie High School. So one more free throw. For Madison, the freshman from Midlothian hits that one. 17-15, Mean Green. Back to the three-quarter court, 2-2-1 two, two, press. Pass from McBride front court to Scott. Now they'll set up with Perry at the point. Operates off a of Scott high post feed. To McBride in the far corner. Bounce down the baseline to Usman. Has the advantage, turns, hooks, and scores. I believe that was the lecture we were talking about during the timeout. If you get the ball down deep, you're expected to score over the top of these guys. And without Staten in, a little easier for Usman. Abu, maybe for the first time ever in a mean green uniform, the leading scorer. Three for three, six points stops for either team. Whistle as the Eagles set up and contact called. On Mardres McBride, away from the ball, the fourth team foul in the timeout was 7.58 to go in the first half. 19-15, North Texas leading Oklahoma Christian. This is Mean Green Basketball from the near field. Mean Green Athletics, Raising Canes, one love. 7.58 to go in the first half. It's 19-15 North Texas. Led Oklahoma Christian most of the way. And out of the timeout, Eagles ball. AJ Murray back in, guarding Johnson. Pass goes in the middle of the lane to Drew Tenniel. Spins, scoops, and scores. A lot of moves on the right side of the block there by Tenniel, but uh, 
that plethora of opportunities ends up in a bucket for him. So a two-point lead, 19 to 17, with seven and a half to go first half. Ruben Jones, double team, right side, pass off Usman. Great save underneath by Johnson, but it goes to Usman who lays it in. North Texas now 14 to 6 in terms of points in the paint. And why not start going down low a lot more often? The downtown shot was hard to start, but uh, the size is mattering. Credit the bucket to Bell now with seven. 21 17 being green. Down the lane goes to Neal. Spins. Left hand shot put motion up. No good. He lands hard. May have gotten an elbow to the face. Mm -hmm. And now the officials yeah. notice and stop play. Bell, meanwhile, is two points away from 500 for his career after that bucket. I don't see any blood here, but boy, he is really, he may be looking for a contact. Yeah. Maybe. It's a, hard, it's a hard thing to find on a floor. Yeah, well, he's he's got uh, Danny Chance over there looking at his eye. Maybe it's one of these stuck on the corner. I never wore him, did you? I uh, tried for a while, could never calm down my Yes. Blink instinct to put him in. Well, that's the problem when these players have one that gets moved around yeah. because of contact. It's it's going to take a while for him to get tended to. So out he comes. Drew Tenniel. And back in comes DJ Walter. Actually, now we see Callaway Dykes for the first time. This is the freshman, another Texan from Decatur. As the ball is inbounded to Tyler Perry. We're under seven minutes to go in the half. Bounce, far elbow the paint. Usman turns, backs down. Madison hooks and scores. And contact called or a delay of game warning on Knight Madison afterwards. Well, I think Kendry Talley, the Oklahoma Christian coach, was hoping for a whistle there, but good job by Usman when it didn't come. He just finished off the play, continued on the attack mode. Abu, four for four, eight points, game high, 23-17. This is the biggest lead for the Bean Green. Six and a half minutes to go. Bounce pass stolen in the lane. Tipped by Bell to Jones. Fast break opportunity ahead to Murray, and he drives and scores. Great motion on either side. Everyone stayed in their lanes, and Murray, playing with so much confidence as an older player, finished it off. Contact as Callaway Dykes tries to drive around Thomas Bell, and Bell will be called for the block, it will be his first 15 foul. Dykes is a real sniper. You got to find him in transition, and so that's what Bell was trying to do. By the way, Callaway Dykes' his father is the head coach at Decatur High School. I thought you were going to say his father is the head coach of SMU <laughs> football. Not Different that Dykes. Dykes. Different Dykes. <laughs> Spell the same. Inbounds, Oklahoma Christian. What's up with Anthony Johnson? On the near wing to Walter. And back now for Ketter. Going to shake McBride's defense to Johnson. Eight on the shot clock. One on one with Murray. Long stride in. Floater way short. Follows his own miss up and scores. What a motor man. Johnson staying with everything. And he's gotten some second chance opportunities because he stays with the play. He has seven. 25 19 with Texas. 5.45 and a half. Bell straight up thinking about a three. Too early in the shot clock, though. Off to McBride. Far corner to Murray. Dumps down the baseline. Usman can overpower all the Eagles. Cross-court feed instead to Perry. Passes up the three. Eight to shoot. Into the lane. One hands and scores from ten. Abu gave up the ball, but then sets a great screen. Soft in the middle of the lane that Perry took complete advantage of. Big Green missed four straight. They've now made six in a row. Up to 55%, 12 of 22. Off balance drive ends in an offensive foul for Oklahoma Christian. A little bit out of control that time was Carlin Kenner. And again, Abu Usman. He's filling up the stat sheet, but he's also doing the intangibles that his coaching staffs can be happy with. Usman will sit down after some really good minutes. Foul on Kenner, his second. Team fouls now even at five. Edmondson, Edmondson back in for Kenner. Walter takes the seat. And uh, back in is Daniil. We arrive at five minutes remaining in the half. Perry trying to drive on Dykes, recovers nicely. Perry backs out, attacks again, kicks it back out to Bell. Jump stop in the paint, wrap around, reverse no good, and saved just before it goes over. 
Hand line by Drew Tenniel. He'll bring it front court. Dish off to Anthony Johnson. Johnson's pass stolen point blank by McBride. One man fast break, left hand finish off the glass for Dresden's first two points of the season. 29-19, first double digit lead for the Mean Green timeout call by Ken Gray Talley. What a crafty takeaway by Mardrez McBride and why not? If you're gonna make that steal, finish it off at the other end for his first two. 29-19 and uh, Mean Green heating up seven for seven. 4.39 to go in the half for a bit of a slow shooting start. Oklahoma Christian, 44%, 8 of 18. Not looking for many threes. They're one for three. That by Edmondson, rebounding now 11 to 9 in favor of the B Green. Everything tended to change in terms of focus in this game when Grant McCaslin took the timeout. He chewed out Abu Usman. The next thing you know, Abu starts to go to work down low, and the shots start falling. So utilizing the big man and making everyone realize we can go inside on Oklahoma Christian. Let's do a little bit of that. The threes will fall later if they need to. Boy, crowd still coming in the Super Bowl. I think this, this might be the biggest crowd of the season if this were last year. Yeah, so nice to be done with what you and I came to call pandemic basketball and pandemic crowds. Lower bowl, very close to uh, packed and some folks sprinkled into the upper deck here at the Super Pit. Under four and a half minutes to go in the half. And Callaway Dykes stops his dribble, crowded by Perry. Give to the point to Tenniel, 10 to shoot. Wants to drive, spin against Bell, backs it back way outside with five to shoot. And he'll drive again, lose control of it. Loose ball easily captured by J.J. Murray. That might be his easiest steal of the year. Goal was to make the Eagles uncomfortable. I think it's safe to say they are right now. We go under four minutes in the first half. Perry to Bell, right corner, McBride down the baseline, off the glass and in. Boyd, McBride letting others score first. Now he's hit two fairly high wire, high difficulty shots back to back, and it's 31 19. Jump stop at the foul line, firing and hitting Anthony Johnson. That ends. The Mean Green run, 31-21. Leading returning score, he had 12 points per game a year ago, and Johnson will be really counted on this year for Oklahoma Christian. Right with it up high, near side, Perry. Bounce back up to right. Thought about a three, and he has it stripped by Drew Tenniel, driving breakaway slam. Well, Tenniel. Really does a good job catching right unaware and falling asleep just a little bit with the ball. So careless and points back the other way. Hesitated and was lost. Yes. The ball was lost. Three minutes to go in the half. Jumps off of the lane. Bell lost the ball. Dykes to the deck to get it back and was fouled. I think by Hamir Wright in that scramble. That's the second foul on Wright. Sixth on the team, timeout. 2.58 remaining first half. It's 31-23 North Texas. This is Mean Green Basketball from Learfield.
who grew up in a two-bedroom apartment in Flatbush, New York. And his next two points will tie a career high. So good start for a guy who's going to be relied upon this year. No more Zach Simmons. Had a lot of good productive years out of Zachary, but it's all about Abu from this point on. And out of the timeout, the Eagles bring it up. 250 and counting in the half. They're down to eight. They have trailed by as much as 12 and a steal in the backcourt by Jones. Ruben pushes it up to Perry. Back to Jones, left side, J.J. Murray. Time to set the feet, fire and hit a three. Ten toes to the rim. Early on, everybody a little jittery from downtown, but uh, J.J. is putting together a very nice looking first half. Big score for either team, 10 points, 34-23. We back to double digits. Them then, far wing is to Neal. Gives into the circle to Madison. Cut off by Uzman. Off to the left wing and a three by Edmondson is good. Monte Edmondson with both successful three-pointers for OC. And it's 34-26. We hit two minutes remaining in the half. Got to get there on the catch with Edmondson. That's what he's capable of. Pass mid lane. Murray takes to the far wing. McBride up top Jones. Right corner, Perry down the baseline, Usman back to Perry. Catch and shoot three, no. Rebound among the tall trees. J.J. Murray missed the follow. Jam follow by Abu Usman. Mercy down the throat of the lane. 36-26, that's 10 for Abu. He had 10 against Mississippi Valley a year ago in the season opener, so he's got a chance to top that here in the little lifter tonight. Driving, scooping, missing is Edmund Sudbury draws contact with a minute 28. On Abu, his second. And uh, the Eagles get to the one and one here late in the first half. You mentioned former grad assistant coach Luis Lopez, who spent time at Oklahoma Christian. He's now working in development, but he's the guy that got me a lot of information on this uh, Eagles team. Miss having him around, but. He was a part of the early turnaround under uh, Grant McCaslin, one of a bunch of young, good guys brought in to help out in different roles. Guzman, after that second foul, checks out. Bell back in. Edmondson's first free throw good. And now one more, trying to get an eight-point game. Edmondson, two three-pointers, but one of two free throws, and rebound down to Murray. So Mead Green by nine, a minute 20. Before halftime, Dylan Lee will take you around the rest of the country on the busiest opening night in college basketball history. Jones Bell, he bounces around the perimeter. Far corner, Murray kicks up top to Perry, drives hard, double clutches, scores, count it. Three point opportunity for the Juco All America from Fort Coffee, Oklahoma. Well, that's what Coach Hodd was telling me. He said, you'll see times where Perry will remind you of J.B. on Hamlet just in terms of his tenacity, taking it down either side of the lane, knowing there's going to be some contact, but still strong enough to muscle it up. That's exactly what he did on that play. So the free throw for the three-point play, good. Eight points for Perry. 39-27, Bean Green matched their biggest lead at a dozen. One minute to go in the first half. Oklahoma Christian. Edmondson dumps down low and a layup, rounded out by Madison, rebounded by Bell. Up the far sideline where the outlet pass goes Perry into the far corner, McBride back to Perry. And he'll drive and stop, kick back out. Bell showed three, starts in, dishes to the corner, and McBride is in and out with a three. Rebounded by Edmondson with 34 seconds. And the only bugaboo of the first half really is the ability to connect from downtown. North Texas has dominated points in the paint, but struggled on the uh, long shots. Very much so. 3 of 12, including 0 for 4 by Dres McBride. Final 20 seconds, 10 to shoot, difference of about 8 seconds. Anthony Johnson, 5 to shoot for Edmondson. Air ball, 3, and it goes out of bounds with 8.1 seconds. Hard to shoot it when you've got Reuben Jones flying right at you. Just got his arms right in the line of sight on that release. So time to get off a decent shot. Full court to travel. 2-2-1, two, two, three-quarter court press to break. And Perry into the front court with three seconds. With two seconds of running three-pointer, and he rattles it in at the buzzer. Wow. 
Hello, Tyler Perry. Welcome to the Super Pit. 42-27 halftime. He kept his eye on the clock, Dave, and expertly worked himself right to left around the top of the key. And you just kind of felt like he's going to have enough space to get a good shot off, and then he canned it. Stylish end to the first half. Dean Green have three double-figure scorers led by Perry with 11, Murray 10, Usman 10. And we reach halftime at the Super Fit with Dean Green on top of Oklahoma Christian, 42 to 20.
Opening night for the uh, women and men. Women uh, victorious earlier over USAO 93.58. The Green halfway to a second straight win in as many as three years against Oklahoma Christian up 15 at halftime. This uh, to be followed in six days with game number two on the regular season schedule against Buffalo here at the Super Pit. November 15th, next Monday, 7 o'clock. His tip-off will be on the air with the pregame show at 6.45. And then UTA will be here three nights later on November 18th next week. Week from Thursday, that's also a 7 o'clock start. Then Hank and the team will head to Orlando for a Thanksgiving weekend tournament activity. The tournament features Kansas, Miami, Dayton, and the Mean Green. Like we said, this schedule's dotted with some really good competition. And, you know, Buffalo is a team the last few years. Dave has been very good at the college level. They'll be here on Monday, so don't sleep on that one, fans. Second half underway. Oklahoma Christian inbounds. They shoot to the goal to our right in front of their own bench. And they work it down the right baseline for Nike Madison. Moves in, misses. Rebound pulled down by Uzman. For the Mean Green, same five that started the game. Jones, Murray, McBride, the guards. Guzman, Bell, the bigs. And a drive by McBride. Angle pass, left side for Jones. Misses an 18-footer. Rebound back up, strong follow by Thomas Bell. And it's 44-27, Mean Green. Now 500 career points in a Mean Green uni for Bell. Down to the baseline, pull up, one-hander missed by Johnson. Rebounded by Mardrez, McBride. Works it. To the front court where Murray passes up a three. Jones as well. Down low for a rolling left hand runner. No good by Abu. That's his first miss. And it was point blank in the first half. He was five of five for ten points. Would have been a new career high, which he still has plenty of time to get to. And Green spreading out their uh, half court defense. Pick up deeper on the perimeter and hitting a three right over the defense. DJ Walter from the far wing. They are now three of six from deep. Mean Green four of 14. Walter's the only guy that's been on the roster since 2018. Lots of turnover at this level for Oklahoma Christian. 44-30, Mean Green by 14. McBride starts in, back out to Usman. Back to Drez, kicks right wing. Catch and shoot three, won't go for Reuben Jones, who is still scoreless. 0 for his first five this season. Just uh, like the first half started. Long pass underneath, catch and shoot lay in by Drew Tenniel. And it's 44-32. I think McCaslin would like this team to start penetrating again, work inside, and forget about the threes that are not falling tonight. Bell passes up a three. It's cross court to Murray, the left corner. Out to the point, Jones. Jones to Bell from the near wing. Drives down to a double team and has it stripped. Taken away by Anthony Johnson. Long pass front court, almost stolen back by Jones. Comes down in the hands of Kenner, misses a three. Bell hustles 94 feet to grab the defensive rebound. He is the garbage man. He'll get in between everybody to clean things up. Thomas Bell. McBride dumps down the baseline. Right side low, Usman. Backing down against Madison. Turns, misses. Mm. And rebounded by Walter. Off the right shoulder. Shot was hitting with regularity in the first half, but Abu Usman's missed both of his opportunities early here in the second. We have played almost three minutes of the second half, 44-32. Eagles down to Johnson, drives the baseline, misses in traffic. And bodies hit the deck. A scramble for the rebound, including Bell. And Tenniel, Tenniel Cole for the foul, his second. Bell very active to begin the second half. And again, we talk about Bell. He's now built like a V. He's skinny down low. Those legs are still pretty much rails, but his upper body is really a testament to how hard he has hit, not only the weight room, but putting the right things in his body. Between Andrew Wright, the strength coach, and all the folks in sports nutrition, Thomas Bell's been a project that's really worked. A Charles Ashford success story. Yep. Director of nutrition. Resculpting Thomas's body. Amir Wright has checked in, gets a pass down low for a lay-in. First points in a mean green uniform, four years at Washington. 120 games and 80 starts. He was a regular year in, year out for the Huskies. Four-star recruit out of high school, and he showed a nice little move there, left to right along the baseline to sneak in for his first bucket. 
46-32. In green defense again pushing the Eagles farther out on the perimeter. Shot clock at 10. Nowhere near a shot. Is to Neal. Off to the point to Kenner. Five to shoot. Kenner. Pass to Walter Pick. Pulls up 16 feet and won't rattle in. Rebound Bell. Well, he's getting after the glass, isn't he? That is rebound number seven for Thomas. Four minutes into the second half. He'll fire a three from the left wing, and it is in and out. And rebounded by Walter for OC. Oklahoma Christian calls themselves OC as opposed to OCU, which is already taken by Oklahoma City University. A miss straight out front by Kenner, mean green rebound. And Tyler Perry is checked back in. Perry an 11-point first half. One of three mean green double-figure scorers. Has it straight on, crowded by Kenner. Wants him to go to his left, so he does. Can't penetrate to Bell. Off to McBride, a wild miss three in the right wing. Rebound, flat-footed, taken by Tania. Long pass up the court to Johnson. Knifes in, misses the drive. Rebound, McBride, the mean green run. Three on four. Undeterred, driving for a left-hand scoop finish is Martres McBride. Boy, and Johnson was dejected at the other end, never made it back defensively. It was five on four. Tennille rejected in the paint by Wright, comes back down with a loose ball, dishes to Walter, who lays it in. And a quick timeout call by Kendra Talley. With 15.04 remaining, we'll take the timeout. Mean Green by 14, 48-34. This is Mean Green basketball. Out in uh, El Paso, Aaron Jones of the Green Bay Packers had a 300-yard game. <laughs> At that point, it looked as if that would cost the Mean Green a bowl opportunity, but they still made it uh, for a rematch with Army in the heart of Dallas Bowl, an overtime loss. No joke, I've had Aaron Jones on my fantasy team every year he's been in the pros. Ever since that 300-yard. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he can do, and he can do it at the other level, too. Out of the timeout, J.J. Murray back in. As, uh, again, we see the 2-2-1-3 two, two, quarter court OC pressure. Not come up with a turnover yet, to my recollection. And they fall back into a 1-2-2 two, two zone. So the main green play catch around the perimeter. Pass mid lane goes to right out to the corner. Catch and shoot three, and Perry drops it down. Third three for Perry. And, of course, he had a stylish finish to the first half with a buzzer beater from downtown. 14 for Tyler Perry on five of six shooting, three of four from deep. Down low, battle for the ball between Madison and Jones will end in a foul on Ruben. And uh, Ruben still looking for his first point, now has his first foul. Ruben was on the back side of that play, tried to sneak in and tap the ball from behind, but he got him with the body. And timeout call, 14-28 remaining. 
This evidently a full timeout. We'll take it. 51 34, Mean Green by 17 on Learfield. Disney World, as we said, Thanksgiving weekend, Kansas, Miami, and Dayton. Game against UMass at Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth. Game against Tulsa at Oklahoma City, December 21st. And the first three Conference USA games all here at home against Rice, UAV, and Middle Tennessee early January. Inbounds, pass stolen by Murray. And the Green. Fall out in their half-court offense, trying to spread the Eagles. Now in one-on-one, -on -one. Perry double team left side, up high to right, back to Tyler Perry, and fouled on the perimeter, trying to get around Monte Edmondson. Edmondson not at all happy with that call. Made a little gesture that sometimes officials will take exception to, but the good little head fake sold that from Tyler Perry. Perry's shown us a lot of different uh, parts of his game tonight. Heady player. Justin Nimmer back in for uh, Nike Madison. 14 minutes remaining. And inbounds it's Scott off to Perry right side. Off to Perry right pick and roll. Right now vacates. Pass to the point Jones. Back to Perry. Far quarter court. Side cleared for him to operate against Tennille. Five on the shot clock. Takes him in deep and has the ball stripped. Loose ball picked up by Anthony Johnson. Races the other way. Kicks for a three from the far wing. In and out and back in by Edmondson. Shooters touch. Third three, he's got 10. Once again, you've got to get with him on the catch because he's got such quick release. And yes, nice numbers from downtown. 51-37, lead 14 for the Mean Green. Only Eagle lead was 9-7. Off balance, flip almost behind the backboard. Off the backboard and in for Reuben Jones. First points of the night and the season. High difficulty factor. And the Mean Green have now doubled up OC in the paint, 36-18. Nimmer on a drive to Edmondson, back to Nimmer. Into the lane and charges. Charge drawn underneath by Reuben Jones, and that is the third OC offensive foul. Had to scrape Reuben up. He really took some contact that time, planted into the hardwoods, but yep, three of them. And that's become a huge staple of if you're going to talk about the toughest team wins, then the toughest team is certainly the one that's willing to take charges. To the point where the scouting reports will normally tell these players, here's a guy you can take a charge on. Let's get after it. 2-2-1 two, two, pressure, now full court. Long pass into the front court from Jones to McBride. His return and dribbles it off his own foot. It looked like it out of bounds. Another unforced turnover. Ninth against the Mean Green, they forced 12. Points off turnovers, 13-12, North Texas. 12.45 remaining, up 16, 53-37. Anthony Johnson, scoreless this half, had nine at intermission. And pass intended for Tennille, knocked out of bounds by Bell. As we see Hunter Staten for the first time this half, the 6-9. 200, upper register, maybe low 300s. Just a guess from 50 feet away, sophomore from Stillwater. 
Eagles inbound to Edmondson. Edmondson off to Walter. And the bounce goes edge of the paint to Staten. Backs down Usman. Got a piece of his hook. Goes in anyway. And counted the three-point opportunity for Hunter Staten. Abu didn't get much, but he got enough. And that was a very patient plow job by Hunter Staten. And again, if you're going to allow him deep touches, that is exactly where Staten can hurt you. He's the Oklahoma Christian version of big country. Just thinking that. Put a few more inches on him. You got Bryant Reeves in the 90s. Free throw miss, rebound Jones knocked away, goes to Edmondson. Eagles steal a possession here, baseline pull up, good by Johnson. And suddenly they're back within 12. First points this half, Johnson makes it 53-41. And some pressure in backcourt. Johnson did everything there with the takeaway and eventually the score. Now the 2-3 zone look, pass up to the high post to Bell, spins around, deals to Perry, near wing, back to Bell, gets Staten up off his feet, wheels, misses a left hand, point blank layup, rebound out to Perry. Still belongs to the Mean Green. Jones to Bell, dishes in, back out, Perry three, got it. Well, Bell is so composed that instead of saying, okay, second time I'm gonna eat up Staten instead, he got it back out and the hot hand hits. 17 points on seven shots by Tyler Perry in his Mean Green debut. Four or five from deep now. And a late foul called on a shot McBride thought he had cleanly blocked by DJ Walter. Gonna take us to a timeout. Crowd grumbles, but North Texas with more contact. He fouls even now at three apiece. 11 and a half minutes to go, 56-41, North Texas leads it. Johnson with 11, and uh, Monte Edmondson as uh, three of their four three-pointers. And now 10 points out of the timeout. E.J. Walter on the line shooting two. Junior from Midwest City, Oklahoma. This is the first off the back iron. You mentioned it is an exhibition game for Oklahoma Christian, but if the Mean Green get the win here, it counts as their first win of the year. I've never understood how that can work, but uh, D1 programs get a chance to get some wins early against lesser competition. Oklahoma Christian, though, it's a home run ball for them to come here and try to play well. Walter hits the second. It's 56-42. Full court pressure again, no problem. Jump stop, low bell, kicks out to the wing to Jones. Now to the point, Perry. Perry sends it left quarter court McBride. They fall back into a 2-3 zone look. Eight on the shot clock for Perry. Bounce far corner down the baseline. Goes Ruben Jones and misses the layup. Staten caused the miss. Rebound pulled down by D.J. Walter. And here comes O.C. with under 11 minutes remaining. They're down 56-42. Edmondson drives to a double team. 
feeds Staten up high. Walter in the left corner, and he rattles in a three. Nice look by the big man Staten, the post player, with a deft pass to the left corner. And Walter cans his second three. Grant McCaslin wants a timeout. He's chewing the officials now. He's getting ready to go in and uh, do a little chewing for the guys in home whites. So the timeout with 10.46 remaining after the three-pointer by Walter. Pulls the Eagles within 11, 56-45. They're in their third year in the Lone Star Conference, and uh, the Lone Star has metastasized now. Hank, it's got like, what, 50 different schools? I'll tell you, it's hard to keep track anymore, but uh, some trying to move up and take on Division I spots, others moving around. Either way you look at it, a lot of, a lot of tough travel in the Lone Star. Good teams, but long trips on buses. It's their sixth year in NCAA Division II, and their sixth ex exhibition against a D1 opponent. They are 0 for 5 so far. This one making a bit of a comeback. 17 down to an 11, and out of the timeout, 2 2 1 3 quarter court. Jones front court pass to Bell, back to Ruben Jones at the point, pass mid lane now Bell. Cut off by Staten. Turn feed Jones into the far corner. Perry a catch and shoot three. This one a little bit long. And Usman saves the rebound out of bounds off Justin Nimmer. Acrobatic play by a 6'10 player. Usman couldn't quite bring it in, but he gathered the ball as he's going out of bounds and just pounded it off of the opposition. J.J. Murray back in for Dres McBride. 10-28 remaining. Perry underneath inbounding to Bell in the baseline. And Bell goes right in after Staten throws up a hook that almost... Went off the shot clock and in. Whistle had already blown on uh, Staten's first foul. He's a big space eater, and three times now Bell has had to try to in contend in there. More athletic, obviously, but still just the sheer size and girth that Staten has made it hard for Bell to score. Thomas to shoot two. The first is good. Gives him 501 career points. Active leader for the Mean Green in games, starts, minutes, points, rebounds, assists, threes, blocks, and steals. That's pretty much every stat there is. Second free throw also good. And he's been averaging right at 26 minutes a game in a Mean Green uniform, so he stays out of foul trouble, stays productive almost every night. Fourth player in double numbers now, up to 11, 58-45. Mean Green by 13, we reach Halfway mark in quarter number two. Trapped to the right corner is Johnson. Out to the wing, Staten shovels it up high to Walter. Shot clock at seven, wants to drive on Jones. Cut off, back out Edmondson with four. With three, bounce, baseline jumper. Staten missed it at the buzzer, rebound Bell. Outlet to Jones, Mead Green with numbers if they hurry. Jones cut off down low by Walter. Back out to the trailer, Murray, and they'll reset the half court. Bell setting up Tyler Perry, picked up at a switch by Nimmer. 6-6 to Perry's listed, 5-11. Might be generous. Perry starts in, deals to Murray, open three, no good. In the right corner, gets his own rebound, though. And dishes to Bell, near corner, up fake three, drives in and charges. And this time, Nimmer draws the offensive foul, Bell second. D2, transfer out of Central Oklahoma, Justin Nimmer, and he does a nice job of taking a page out of the mean green book, getting the feet planted and willing to take the charge right in the middle of the lane. Walter checks out as Drew Tenniel returns. 9.20 to play, 58-45 North Texas. And extending the half-court defense again. Ember driving past Bell, misses a high post jumper, rebound by Bell, that is his ninth. He's very close to a double-double. We hit nine minutes remaining. Perry starts in, cut off. Feet up high, Usman. Back to Perry. Give and go. Bounce down low. And Usman goes up, gets fouled by Staten. Abu will shoot two. Pretty looking give and go. They tried it once, didn't work. They reset that. And Abu's going to earn a trip to the line. And the uh, the big man we've talked about, Hunter Staten, had stayed foul free for a long time. Now he's picked up a couple in the last minute and a half. So Abu to shoot two. He was a 38% free throw shooter last year, but really hardly ever got to the free throw stripe. So it's a very small 
sample from last year. This first free throw, no good. Well, as his minutes and volume of play picks up, this is a big part of what can make him a dangerous scorer or a one-dimensional scorer. Back in is McBride in place of Perry. And the second free throw is short, rebounded by Bell. Staggers away into the corner and uh, gets it into the hands of Bell. Now McBride back to Rubin. Shovels over to Murray, drives in deep, and misses a layup. But Hunter Staten may have just picked up his third foul, and he did. And this in green possession will continue with J.J. Murray at the foul line. Usman and Bell quickly down to the baseline to pick up Murray. You love to see teammates reacting that way. And that rebound to keep that possession alive by Bell means it's a double-double night for T. Bell. 11 points on four out of eight. Ten rebounds. J.J. Murray with ten on four for seven. One for three threes all in the first half, and he misses the first free throw. So still looking for his first point of the second half. Out goes Staten, Nimmer, and Johnson. Back in Kenner, Madison, and Walter. One more free throw for the sixth year senior from Rowlett, and this one is also no good. Rebounded by Walter. So Murray misses a pair. Still 58 45, North Texas, 8 38 to go. Oklahoma City, slight edge this half, 18 16. They turn it over. Pass went through the legs of Madison and picked up by Bell. Long pass into the far corner. McBride back to Bell, near corner. Wide open three. Murray, no good. Offensive rebound. Usman kicks it back out to Bell. Now McBride, and his three is no good. Another rebound, Usman, and then they say he pushed off this time. Clearing out underneath. North Texas really being unselfish, moving the ball around despite getting deep offensive rebounds. But been a night where the threes have been very sporadic, except when Tyler Perry is releasing the long ball. Well, that foul the fourth on Usman. So Abu, 10.6 rebounds, and now four fouls sitting with 8.10 to go. Amir Wright replaces him. 58-45, North Texas by 13. Led by as many as 17. We go under eight minutes. As Tennille is cut off, goes down to the baseline to Madison and a whistle on that baseline and a turnover by Knight Madison and a timeout with 7.56 remaining. Mean Green by 13. The Mean Green Sports Network from the Learfield. Two of six from the line. Oklahoma Christian, seven of 17 this half, three of five from three, and five of 10 for the game now from deep. North Texas really cooling off from that 56% clip on 18 of 32 in the first half. One stat to pass along, J.J. Murray now with a new career high in rebounds. He's hauled in six tonight. 
And uh, still with the three-quarter court, 2-2-1 pressure. Oklahoma Christian, Mean Green again, no problem beating it. McBride sets up between the circles, feeds Bell high, near side, Jones. His pass tried to force it into the crowded lane to Bell, knocked around, stolen by Madison. Coach McCaslin will not be happy with some of this late second half sloppiness. 14-12 in turnovers, Eagles with 14. Long pass, knocked away by Wright, still up for grabs and finally grabbed by Reuben Jones. Brings it the other way to Bell in the corner. Back to Jones, left wing. Two-man game with Bell, double team, edge to the paint. Back to the point, Jones, right side, McBride into the corner. Step back three, Murray, this one goes. Boy, given a lot of time to line that one up and a line drive from the right corner on a pretty big night for J.J. Murray. 13 points, first points this half on just five of nine shooting. Wright goes to the deck, try and take a pass away from Madison, but made contact with the sideline in the far corner. Using all of his 6'8 length, and you can tell that Amir Wright knows what to do with wingspan. That time he just was too tall for the out of bounds right there, trying to stay in and keep the ball alive. Inbounds pass stolen by Murray. Gets it back behind him to Bell, back to Murray, back to Bell, and he got undercut underneath the bucket by Drew Tenniel, and uh, luckily didn't cause Bell a hard landing. And foul on Tenniel, his third. It's not what you need in game number one, a tough fall for Bell. Great job by J.J. to tightrope the far sidelines, keep the ball alive, then get it right back, and he was going for the lob to Bell. Instead, it's just a trip to the line. Seventh team foul. Bell in the one and one in the first is short. Rebound battle underneath. Taken away by Tenniel, but he almost had a strip by a much smaller J.J. Murray. 6.40 to go. Edmondson drives into traffic. Misses on the baseline. Batted around into the hands of Drew Tenniel. A gift lay in to give him 10 points. Yep, garbage points, but you got to be in the right position to get garbage points, and Tenniel was. Pressure now. Picking up by the Eagles. He down to 14 again, 61-47, 620 to play. About half the shot clock eaten up. Contending with full court pressure. Bell up high. Far wing Murray bounced down low to right. Shot clock under 10. Backs down Walter, who turns and fouls him on what would have been about an eight-foot turnaround jumper by Hamir Wright. Walter's third foul. Team's eighth. Amir Wright out of Albany, New York, joining Abu Usman, who's out of Brooklyn. It's the last time there have been two New Yorkers on a Mean Green basketball roster. Might, might well be never for this year. Amir, New York Gatorade Player of the Year, mm -hmm. 2017 out of Albany. Hits the first free throw. Anthony Johnson checks in for Monte Edmondson for the Eagles. Amir has traditionally been right at 62% from the free throw line, so a chance obviously to work on those percentages here in his bonus year. Second free throw, no good, rebounded by Bell, back up strong, and he's fouled, and he'll shoot two. Typical Bell evening. He will keep working, especially if you fall asleep on him, you're going to pay for it, and he snuck in from the right side that time. Squarely in double figures in rebounding now. And the Mean Green, 33 boards on the board compared to 22 for the Eagles. Madison call for the foul, his second. And the first free throw good by Bell. Bell's been the one bright spot at the free throw line as well for North Texas. Yep, four is 12 points now. Three out of four at the foul line. One more free throw, and he misses this one. Around and out, rebounded by Nimmer. That's our fault. We jinxed him. But 12 points, 11 boards, not to be sneezed at. Baseline jumper by Madison, no good. He got fouled by Bell on the way up. That's Thomas's third and the team's sixth. Lots of energy for Madison, and he likes that left shoulder in the post. That time he just squared up and tried to shoot over Bell, and Bell reached in. Trying to get the block. Knight Madison, 6'5", freshman from Midlothian, Texas. And the first free throw, his first point of the second half, fourth point of the game. 5.56 remaining, 63-48. And one more.
Sean Moore for Madison, and he got them both. Kendra Talley really emphasizing this 2-2-1 press. He's kept it on almost the entire game. Don't think it's come up with a single turnover. Bell dribbles off his foot in the front court, though, picked up by Perry down low. McBride scores on the left baseline drive. Mardrez realized everybody had overplayed going for the loose ball, so he heads the ball on the left side and says, I got nobody in my way. I'm going straight to the basket. 32nd time out call by Grant McCaslin is next to last time out with 541 remaining and the lead back to 16 65 49. Think of there's things that Mack will uh, want to be critical of or make a point of. It's uh, not shot selection, but just the ability to relax from downtown. Three balls have been really tough to come by, and then there's been uh, more turnovers here in the second half than I would think Grant will be satisfied with. But it's a lid lifter. You got a lot of new guys, and so you're not going to be completely in sync. Not for the first few games. And boy, you jump into a tough game on Monday night against Buffalo. So a lot of things to try to clean up before that matchup. Out of the timeout. Oklahoma Christian inbounding, running to the front court. 535 remaining. They're down 16. Johnson down to a double team spot. The right baseline misses a one-hand floater. Another rebound for Bell. That is 12. He's got a dozen points and boards. Near corner, Reuben Jones up high to Bell. Far wing, McBride. Driving left hand, power jam by Drez. Rim still rattling on the left side. And you can hear this good crowd on night number one react to that. Three point straight on, missed by Walter. Rebound Murray. Running it up, bounce into the right lane, driving, laying it in Tyler Perry. Well, some fast break opportunities, some quick finishes, and maybe a late knockout punch coming now from the Mean Green. Under five minutes, biggest lead, 20, 69-49. With Tyler Perry leading the way, 19 points. A.J. Walter trying to get breathing room against Murray's defense on the far wing. A pie for Nimmer, scores from the high post. His first points with four and a half to go, 69-51. Southpaw score with a nice rise and hit from that left elbow to stop the bleeding for the moment. Pressure continues in backcourt, though. Green, Green 52% for the game, 45.5% this half, 10 of 22. Just 29% from deep, though, 7 of 24. Ooh, one thing Grant McCaslin notices in the postgame box. Perry on a drive, off for a three by Reuben Jones. It's no good. Rebound Johnson up the right sideline to Walter. And Walter crashes right in to the defender waiting for him in the middle of the lane, Perry. And the offensive foul is Walter's fourth. Pretty reckless that time, but once again, you're seeing multiple players get set to accept contact and take charges. That is a good thing. Team foul number 10, double bonus, the final 358 for the Bean Green with a timeout. They lead 69-51 on Learfield.
uh, have made it a full evening. What looks like it's gonna be a mean green sweep. Treated to some pretty nice activity before that last media timeout with a high flying dunk and some fast break opportunities. And five players in double figures for the mean green led by newcomer Tyler Perry, 19. And again, no problem against the press. Perry will set things up at the half court. And fire a quick straightaway three and knock it down. Tyler Perry in his Mean Green debut, five threes, 22 points. 72-51, this is the new biggest lead of the night, 21 points. Steal by McBride, stepped in front of the pass down the baseline. Long pass ahead, Bell driving, lays it in. Bell was more concerned about catching up to the ball. He might have been able to do a huge throw down, but instead just took care of it, got the two, and that's a nice fast break. 14 points to go with his 12 rebounds. Not a bad night. 74-51, another steal. Perry starts the three on two break, peels back out. We'll wait for reinforcements. Bell there to offer him a high post screen. Picked up at a switch by Tennille to Bell. Back to Perry, still in that mismatch, gonna drive on Tennille and bounce it down low to Bell. Bell whips it to McBride, open three in the corner, good, and after a bit of a slow start to the second half, Mark Rez heating up now. He had the flying slam followed by this corner three, and the lead is 26. Three ball numbers are gonna look a lot better. Cleaning it up at least here towards the end. Two and a half minutes to go. Madison can't coax home a high post jumper. Follow no Nimmer. Rebound battle to the deck, picked up finally, and Nimmer lays it in. Thomas Bell trying to grab his 13th rebound, got roughed up there in between a couple of players. A little slow to get up. And uh, timeout to at least wipe up one spot on the court. We'll keep it right here with 2.20 remaining. The V Green on top, 77-53. Gonna get some subs in here late. But North Texas taking uh, care of business against Oklahoma Christian. One score we looked at tonight, Western Kentucky only beat Alabama State by five, 79-74. You can see how they uh, trek this year, the Hilltoppers. Yeah, one of the things picked ahead of the two-time defending champions, uh -huh. along with La Tech, UAB. So, we will see for the first time Bryce Zephyr, 6'4 sophomore, Carson, California, by way of Chipola Junior College in Florida. We'll see Matthew Stone, 6'4 freshman from Kingfisher, Oklahoma. We will see Rashid Brown, 6'2 junior from Philadelphia. Transfer from AM Corpus Christi. Jones stays in to run things. And uh, we have seen Aaron Scott briefly in the first half. He's in here as well. We hit two minutes remaining and 10 on the shot clock. Lee Green playing catcher on the perimeter. Rounded into the near corner. Stone up with his first collegiate shot and a clean three and a catch and shoot from the left corner. Over 1,500 career points in high school. He is a sniper and that one barely moved the twine. Never hesitated. 140 to play, 80 to 53. A steal. And a drive by Bryce Zephyr and a breakaway lead. I like that basketball name, Bryce Zephyr. Grew 11 inches over the last two years. He graduated high school in Santa Monica at five feet five. That's a growth spurt, Dave. That's a big growth spurt. Stone rebounding a miss by the Eagles with a minute 15, 82-53. Mid lane, Scott starts in, back out. Work up top to Jones. Feed to the high post, turn around Scott, and he drops it in. Boy, the subs have come in and look silky smooth between Zephyr, Scott, and Stone. Instant offense. Final minute, 84-53. Tucker Fuller into the game along with Tyler Toth, and he misses on the baseline. Another mean green rebound, Jones to bring it up. Difference of about 18 seconds on the two clocks. Scott up high, out to the far wing to uh, Zephyr, around the horn. Jones drives it from the left wing, out to the point for a three, straight on. And no good on the attempt by Rashid Brown with 25 seconds. So the Eagles bring it up. Maybe their last possession. 
Work around the perimeter to Tucker Fuller now. 5'10", uh, senior from Tulsa off a of state and pick. Nine seconds remaining. Up high to Callaway Dykes, five seconds. Back to Fuller, two seconds. They may not even get a shot off. They do not. The shot clock expires with half a second remaining in the game. Tucker Fuller had his moment and let it pass. So Zephyr throws into Jones. It's over. The Mean Green open 21-22 with a 31-point victory over Oklahoma Christian, 84-53. Little slow coming. Credit to Oklahoma Christian for being stubborn in the first half, but the Mean Green debuting a lot of new looks, end up putting it together, and in the second half, really starting to run away from the Eagles. They shoot 55% with five double-figure scores, led by his mean green debut. Juco All-America Tyler Perry with 22. 84-53, North Texas wins it. Stay with us. The Texas Health Presbyterian Post Game Show is coming up next. The Mean Green Sports Network from Lee Field.